Wow, my mouth is watering already. Steph Gonzalez, thank you so much. If you would like to check out these local vendors, just visit Central Market right there at Westheimer and Wesleyan or visit centralmarket.com. Well, super excited here. Our first guest are, is a Grammy and Pulitzer Prize winning trumpeter and composer, and he's performing at the Hobby Center tonight. We'd like to welcome Winton Marcellus is here, also joined by Jazz Houston artist director, artistic director, Vincent Gardner. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. What a treat to have you. And welcome to Houston. Thank you. You know, it's a pleasure. I'm from New Orleans. So, so we're neighbors. Right yeah, we're family. Right. Yeah, <laughs> just down the road. Yeah. So this performance happening tonight, I mean, I love, there, there are also a lot of transplants from New Orleans, right, in Houston, right. tons of them. So tell us a little bit about what we can expect from tonight's show. Well, tonight's show is going to feature, of course, Mr. Marcellus performing with the Jazz Houston Orchestra, our newly formed jazz orchestra here in Houston. And we're performing compositions that are, uh, span the entire, uh, all eras of jazz music, and some that are arranged or, or composed by Mr. Marcellus, a few that are arranged by me, and those that are, some that are arranged by other great arrangers throughout the history of jazz music. Right. Well, and sorry, I was going to jump in on the awards because, Winton, you became the only artist ever to win Grammy Awards for two different categories of music, jazz and classical, right? Mm -hmm. Right, but I'm going to tell you how my, my, what my father told me the night I was 22 years old. I won these two awards, and my father's also an unbelievable musician, and he's a teacher. So after the award show was over, I was sitting on the bed talking to him. He said, oh, that's the Grammys. I said, yeah. He said, I hope you don't think this means you can play. So, oh, <laughs> wow. And he wasn't being mean. You know, wow. Vince's father also is, is, a, his father is, is a jazz musician. His mother is, is a singer, choir director. So we come from a tradition of education and of teaching. And uh, you, 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 somebody has to win these awards, and you win, and they, they, they sound good. But really, the work of practicing and wanting to be in the community and developing your artistry, and uh, that's what we're about, and that's what Jazz Houston is about, and that's why I'm down. And this is so great that you're here. Before we came on, you, were, you asked the question, do you play? And I said, no, I listen, and I appreciate really good music and jazz especially. And I think this is so important, even for parents out there with young right. kids, right. to Keep this love of music and yeah. playing an instrument alive. Keep it alive. And, and education and listening to music, even if you don't play. Right. To be an educated listener in this area is very important just because of uh, the type of products that are being sold to people. Well, and it also takes such discipline. I mean, you guys make it look so easy. Uh, I played the trumpet for about five seconds in fourth grade. <laughs> I still have it in my mom's closet. Um, but, but for you guys, I mean, it must be so meaningful that the arts community and music especially is really part of the fabric of our city in Houston. Well, it is very meaningful. You know, we come from a tradition. I mean, the jazz tradition is that of, of, of excellence in, in music. And we come from the tradition of people like Duke Ellington, who, who have laid down such a foundation for us to play and, and to learn how to play. So for us, we draw upon that as inspiration for, for, that keeps us going and, and makes us want to practice and makes us want to learn how to arrange and write and compose and all of those so things. So Vincent, he, he's a fantastic singer unbelievably original composer and arranger. He plays in our, in our orchestra, Jazz and Lincoln Center Orchestra. We have 10 arrangers, but when, he, when we do his arrangements, we have, always have to say, Vince, can you sing this for us? When we look at it, the rhythms and the things he writes are so original and, and vocal. And he's a, he's a great conductor and unbelievable teacher. I love it. And he, uh, he has the full package of, of things that are needed to really create a transformation. So I know talent. that we've in, enticed y'all. There are tickets tonight for this performance available. We're going to bring up the information there on the screen. Jazz Houston Orchestra, of course, with Wynton Marcellus there tonight at 7 p.m. at Hobby Center. And visit hobbycenter.org for more information to get those tickets. Yeah, you Thank you. Also visit uh, jazzhouston.org as well, right? Absolutely. I see a future story here. I know. Certainly, anytime. We've got to see you in action. They said we're anytime. sold out tonight. So. Oh, we're sold out. That's great. Breaking right. news. So well, you got one of those tickets. Well, that was rude of us to just. Gosh, we, we hung <laughs> it right like there for you. Sorry. Right. That's Dangling what the carrot and then we <laughs> yank it away. Uh, right. Live Vincent, TV. Thank you. Vincent, great to we see you. We appreciate you. you. Nice Welcome to meet you both. Thank you. All right, folks. Coming up on today's show, from kitchen gadgets to apps on your phone, how technology is helping make your life easier. Plus, Red Nose Day is kicking off tonight on NBC. Later in the show, we're learning about this mission to end child poverty and how we all can get involved. Yeah, that's right. But first, we all know him as Mattress Mac, Jim McInvale, his lovely daughter, Elizabeth McInvale. They're here to tell us all about their peace of mind 